What's up guys? And on this particular video, I wanted to break down some of the satanic pieces out of the Balenciaga whole watches. They did a campaign that got a lot of backlash online. And so on this video, I'm going to just focus on the satanic aspect. Number one picture, they had this child who was surrounded by Balenciaga latest merchandise. And uh, around her, she has moon. She's surrounded by the moon. Now, I've talked about this moon idea with the circle on the video which I had done about the, Z the, the Zimbabwe parliament. But people misunderstood that video, so I removed it. But if you can remember that video, if you are the early, one of the early people that saw that video, I illustrated his idea of the circle coming into the thing. It's an idea of sun worship and moon worship. And in this picture here, you can actually even see it of the offense that it holds towards God in Judges chapter number 8. If you read Judges chapter number 8, verse 19, all the way down, you will see God's offense about this one. As a matter of fact, it puts it there, crescent, if you read in, in Judges. That's just one. She's surrounded by moon-type figures and stuff like that. And also, she's surrounded, this child is surrounded by dragons. Now, we are very clear in the Bible the dragon figure speaks of the devil. You read in Revelation, you read, and, and also it's a picture of the end time about how, what kind of an image Satan is. And to see Balenciaga surrounding this child with the theme of the devil, what does that say? There is a devil's agenda after your kids. And this is going to be very clear after this video, I hope. For many people, this agenda runs deep within this space these people that have money these people that are up there this agenda runs deep with them now that was the first picture right i'm just going to highlight uh, funny enough they they took the idea of muchanga nibege there so it's all good it's all good we see you balenciaga we see you now we're going to move on there is rabbits here there's rabbits all over the place i'm not going to focus on those themes i feel like other people have talked about it but i want to highlight something notice the outfit that's worn by this child it's kind of a representative of um worn by satanists a lot of people that are in the dark thingy who wear dark eyelashes and whatnot net fishnet clothing and the spike clothing and all that kind of stuff we know where it's related to but anyways we're gonna skip that uh, in spite of the fact that they're now inspiring that on kids toys then there was this picture which was part of the entire thing there is a court document in the background and i would advise go read up i can't talk about it because of community guidelines it's a really really dark situation for balenciaga to have really intentionally put this particular document. This is a very destructive court document. So go look up the court document Balenciaga campaign. You will see what that document is all about. They don't make a mistake. They know exactly what they are targeting and they know exactly what their agenda is. And remember, there was a man by the name of Alistair Crowley. Alistair Crowley had an agenda that he was going to focus in on getting a per perversion of the kids. Basically of how to over-sexualize kids. Now, I hope that wording there, you can read it, even though I didn't out say it, because I want to keep it clean here. And so, go read up what that document was all about, and it'll be very clear. They put their name there, okay? It's good for you. Now that people can see. This was one of the pictures involved in the campaign. There is a doll on your side with the blue there's a blue thingy and then there's a doll at the bottom what are they enticing kids to do their way with themselves now you remember there was a very big trend in 2020 of a virus videos that were going viral online which was trying to 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 tell kids to do these kind of things. You remember, this was a very huge thing. If I can remember, I'll put up the, the entire an article that from that particular period. And Balenciaga has a thing where they're telling this to kids. They're telling kids, don't enjoy. You don't have to enjoy the troubles that come. Disgusting. But not only that, where do they get the idea of kids or inspiring kids to do that? 
if you look at the tape, there's a tape on the ground and that tape, someone has actually highlighted that they misspelled Balenciaga. And they didn't just misspell it, they misspelled it by putting two A's. There isn't two A's in Balenciaga, but then they put it here. Why? Bal. Which is why a lot of people started speculating that Balenciaga meant something. It meant Baal is king or something like that. There were people that were saying that other people who speak the language said it was not so, but whatever. But remember, if Baal is illustrated in this campaign and you have the idea of on the other side, guess what that's all about? That's about that Genesis figure right there, uh, about that uh, Israelite figure there where they were told not to engage with the practices of certain kingdoms around them. Guess what they, were, they used to do? They used to sacrifice their kids to Baal. Not a mistake that they put it right in there. These are props that were meant for the shoot. You know, blame the photographer only. No, everybody knew about it. This would be a tea set. This is supposed to be children's toys. But they put wine. They put... We didn't play like that. You know, kids didn't play, don't play like that. Kids have small little teacups and stuff like that. So this is supposed to represent that. And... Um, but you only see adult things there. You see adult things. You see things like alcohol. You see uh, shakers and whatnot and all these kind of things. So what are they trying to do with that entire idea that tells you? If you have to read into everything else that they have spoken here. We don't have to talk too much about this one. The next picture. What do they have above this girl? That green thing above this girl. It's a snake right above it. I have a snake right above it. But that's not the most offensive thing for me here. The most offensive thing goes right there. What's that purple thing on the corner there? They took some that looks like a toy for adults. They put it into this image. How are these toys for kids? There's an agenda that's going out there and it's meant, it's targeted at the kids. Over doctrinally, keep these kids into this doctrine so that they can lead the future that the Antichrist will accept. Be watchful. For your enemy, the devil, seeks whom, he's like, he's hunting for prey and he seeks for whom he may kill or destroy. And the, the agenda is set. There was a lot more around that agenda. It was well thought out. They are displaying themselves. They are displaying their thoughts. They are displaying their evil. They are displaying their wickedness. This was Alistair Crowley's dream years ago. They are fulfilling it. Oh no, the apology. Forget the apology. They think it. They believe it. It's in their roots. Strict reality show with the daily Christian commentary videos, and I hope this video does find you well. Just wanted to highlight on some other things that I saw that other people pointed out and other things that they might have not pointed out. There is an agenda. And for those people that keep dis dismissing because you don't believe in God, the Bible told us that this particular time was coming when men's wickedness will be outright. It says men will seek their pleasure, their own pleasure. It says in the last days, men will seek their own pleasure and they will get away from sound doctrine. It is sound thinking for an adult to want to protect kids. No, they want to exploit kids. Absolutely disgusting. That's the devil's agenda right there. That's what you are seeing. It's Ricky and I hope this video does find you. Well, other videos done today, they'll be down in the pinned comments. So check them out and I'll see you later.